Hello all, this is James Johnson aka Sulphurblade and I am here with the the uh, the upcoming uh, highlights trailer for a game known as Atlas. Um, Atlas has been delayed twice now. It's supposed to release today, December 21st. Um, and I'm sitting here excitedly waiting for that to happen. Um, and the re there's many reasons for that, uh, but the most primary reason um, is that this is a sandbox MMORPG. And I grew up playing Ultima Online amongst many other different MMOs. And my preference in the MMORPG genre is sandbox MMORPGs. I, I love Worm Online. I loved Ultima Online, um, and there's many other MMOs that I played, uh, but u ultimately Ultima Online was my favorite. Well, there's been a lot of dead time since a decent MMORPG has been released to the gaming community. Um, there's many reasons for that. Uh, one reason we could call World of Warcraft. When World of Warcraft released, it released with such um, success that it pretty much took the MMORPG genre by storm. It killed one of my favorite MMOs instantaneously, and that's that's uh, Star Wars Galaxies, which Star Wars Galaxies may have been uh, uh, probably the best crafting MMORPG I'd ever played, uh, still to this date. But that's a different story for another time um, I've I haven't been playing any MMOs for quite a while I, I did a little Black Desert Online but Black Desert Online really wasn't my thing but at least it was a sandbox and it seems that uh, that it's taken a few years like 12 but finally sandbox uh, MMORPGs are starting to become a thing again and that's great. Uh, and this is one of those that could be a thing. This is Atlas. Atlas is is claiming to be a massive sandbox MMORPG capable of 40,000 people in the server simultaneously. There's supposed to be a huge number of land masses. Um, it's going to have PvP. None of this Care Bear stuff like so many of these theme park MMOs have catered to. Uh, it's going to have robust crafting, resource gathering, farming, um, building. All those ships that we're looking at, you're supposed to be able to make plank by plank. Um, so this is exciting. It's... You you can even um, evidently become like uh, the the uh, the governor of an own land and create settlements and tax. Uh, you could be benevolent or tyrant, you know, however you choose to do. If you want to, you know, set taxes high or low, and and so all of these are features that I enjoy in an MMORPG. Now this is this is coming to us from the creators of. Uh, Arc Survival Evolved. And while I have mixed feelings about Arc, it wasn't a horrible game, but you know, it, it wasn't an MMORPG either. It was a, a survival game, which actually this is supposed to be dubbed a survival game too. So this is supposed to be a an MMORPG sandbox survival game. Which has me a little worried. Um, but as long as it is really as massive multiplayer as they're claiming, uh, then this could be pretty exciting. Uh, I, I feel like a school kid right now. I have been without an MMORPG to play for such a long period of time because it's just been a drought in the MMORPG universe of such major proportions. 
I mean, the last major MMORPG I played for any length of time was Worm Online. And while Worm Online is an amazing game, it's it's maybe one of the best uh, feature-wise MMOR, MMORPGs I've ever played, it's really grindy. And not, and not to mention that, the graphics are, well, a little left to be desired. But if you can get past the graphics and the grindiness, it's an awesome MMO. If 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 someone could recreate Worm with better graphics and less grind, I'd probably still be playing it right now. Um, but yeah, so the sandbox genre of MMORPG has been lacking. And maybe this can fill that void. I don't know if it will, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. And if it's even... If it's even... A quarter of what I hope it to be you can expect I'm going to be doing a few videos on this game um, and if it's more than a quarter than what I think it might be you can expect I might be playing this game for a really long time because when I get wrapped up into an MMORPG universe it's just all-encompassing it's all I want to do for nine to five seven days a week you know and maybe even longer so this is going to be exciting for me. Uh, Atlas, releasing today, December 21st. I mean, I, I have to admit that this has kind of come out of left field. I, uh, I wasn't actually... I had no idea this that this MMORPG was was coming down the pike. Um, this crept up on on me out of nowhere, and I'm a person that keeps close tabs on the MMORPG universe. I've been excitedly waiting for titles like Chronicles of Illyria and Camelot Unchained and. Uh, well, not so much Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, because that's just going to be an EverQuest copy, which EverQuest is garbage, as far as I'm concerned. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, there's... Uh, there's quite a few MMOs coming coming out, like Crowfall, for instance. But I didn't know about this one. Uh, I just recently found out about it, and here it is actually releasing an early access today while I'm still waiting on all those others that I'd heard about for several months and or years um yeah so uh, I'm excited but I'm tentative I've been burned by MMORPGs so many times um especially as of late because they they just get worse quality. Uh the MMORPG genre, I don't want to say it's a dying genre. I just want to say it's a it's a genre that doesn't know how to make a good quality game anymore. It seems like the older MMOs are are better. And I uh I hope that this will be one uh I hope this will be a new MMO with new technology and new graphics that actually has the fun and quality of an old MMO. But we'll see. It's early access, so it's not finished. It's still under development, and I will be playing in an early access state, so, you know, we need to keep our minds open and understand that this is not the finished product. And that's also exciting, too, because you can help shape um, the direction of the development of the game that way uh, and push it into a direction uh, that may be better for the community. So, ultimately, what I'm trying to say in a long-winded way is I'm excited. Atlas, today, December 21st, a sandbox... MMORPG with PvP, crafting, building, governorship, 
everything I've wanted in an MMORPG for a long time, and it's here. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, peace.